I'm so excited. With iOS 13.4, we're gonna see support on the iPad for mouse and trackpads. I was able to get my hands on the public beta for iOS 13.4 and take a look at it. What you'll see is I become frustrated pretty quickly because I'm not able to do everything I thought I can do with some of the swipe features and tap to click, which I found out that on the older first generation trackpads, not everything is supported. But what you see my frustrations with will be shored up if you have a newer generation trackpad or a newer generation magic mouse. I have a magic mouse at the office, but since I'm on quarantine, and I'm working from home using social distancing, I might not be able to find out right away if that mouse actually works. But if you do have a newer generation mouse or trackpad, you'll be able to do a lot more of the gestures and tap to click. But I do still find it pretty cool to be able to use a trackpad with my iPad. I have no idea when I get to the LumaFusion part, if I can actually use it with LumaFusion or not, if I had a newer one, but it might be something that the app developers need to build in but that's to be determined, and I bet there'll be some other videos that actually talk about that. Have not found any yet, but let's take a look at some of the items that you can do if you have a first gen trackpad. The first thing you wanna do is make sure your Bluetooth device is on. I'm using a trackpad right now. Go into settings, and then go into Bluetooth, and you'll wanna go ahead and connect to that trackpad, and then it's set up. From there, we can go into settings, trackpad and mouse, and from here, what we can do is go in and change some of the settings like tracking speed, natural scrolling, and secondary click. What I'm disappointed with here on the trackpad is that you cannot set tap to click. In other words, you have to press down until it actually physically clicks. Um, but what I can do now is when we go back to the home, if I move the mouse, you'll see there's a little dot. It's not actually a little pointer, but it's a little dot. It makes it a little bit easier to use. Uh, from here what we can do is we can go into different apps by clicking on them and opening them and also swiping with our fingers left and right by scrolling to the bottom we can bring up the tray and open up one of the other apps down here let me open up safari we also have the ability to do multitasking by grabbing one of the items and dragging it over you'll also notice i can hover over items to do different things as well and it's a lot better than just having the little circle there uh, by going over to the edge and then swiping, we can get rid of the multitasking and then also bring it back by doing the same thing. We can also use the mouse to highlight text. So you'll notice it changes to a more of a cursor that we can use with text. And if we click and drag, we can actually select. But what I noticed on the trackpad, actually it's a little bit sluggish. I'm supposed to be able to select text, um, but it's a little bit sluggish with the trackpad and I'm supposed to double or click with my secondary click to bring up the menu but it's not actually working for some reason i'm not able to use all the gestures that were mentioned in some of the videos i watched like being able to access multitasking and your quick change between apps i keep trying but it doesn't work uh, at least this that worked that, that did work before but it's not now so i, I don't know what i'm doing wrong here uh, it's not as intuitive as i thought it would be but um, then again, you know, it can't be perfect in its first iteration. Um, but right now, it's pretty cool to be able to have a mouse within the app LumaFusion. I'm not sure if it was because I was using the first generation trackpad, but I was unable to scroll left or right using the touchpad even when I clicked. Hopefully this is just something with the first generation trackpad and uh, let me know in the comments if you have a newer generation and it actually works for you. Let me know if you've tried out 13.4 with the trackpad support and I know that Apple's coming out with a keyboard that actually has a trackpad and will allow people to use that and maybe that'll be more user friendly and we'll go from there. But if you've used it, let me know in the comments and uh, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little frustrating at some points for me to do certain things because I have an older generation trackpad. It's pretty cool to see what Apple's doing with the cursor and having it adapt to whatever you're hovering over and the ability to do swipe features. This with a smart keyboard and a trackpad or a mouse, you could probably do a lot more things, especially if you could do video editing with the mouse and your trackpad and do a lot of other things like uh, manipulating cells and Excel and stuff like that, which sounds like you'll be able to do. I'll actually link to the Apple video that shows you what you can actually do with this, but I wanted to give you a quick look, especially if you had a first generation trackpad. If you like this video, 
please make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you want to hear future videos from me. And hope everybody's doing well with the social distancing.